Hey, do you want to do a looking back in time of the little town of Harlan? Yes, I love those. Let's do one. Let's do it. Hey folks, it's Ignited Cody and Mrs. Cody. And we are looking back in time at the city of Harlan. And what better place to start than at the site of the old Harlan Hospital, which is now the Clover Fork Clinic. Things have changed. Yep. The old Harlan Hospital sit right there on that site. Things have changed quite a bit up here on Mound Street. Yes. And we're on Mound Street, by the way. And I've got to say, this video is my wife's baby, you could say. She's been planning and talking about it for quite a while. So it's her ideal. Got to give her credit, Donna. Yeah, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> okay. But anyway, you got the old Harlan Hospital set right here. Finally went out of business after the uh, Appalachian Regional Hospital. Was, uh, the Appalachian Regional Hospital was opened as a miners' hospital originally, I believe. But yeah, yeah, by the UMWA. And uh, but ultimately, though, it put this one out of business. And now, folks, take a walk with us down the street. And as we walk, let's look back in time, okay? Hey, the Harlan Baptist Church looks pretty much the same, except where did the sign go? And you know the Harlan County Courthouse really hasn't hasn't changed all that much, no, has it? Hasn't. It hasn't. Nothing. It's like nothing smooth. And Ben Engel sent us a wonderful picture of the Harlan Band right on these courthouse steps. I think from uh, the 40s or something like that. Yeah, I do believe it's like 1942. Well, they'd won a championship, and they were celebrating with a picture right here the on the courthouse yeah. steps. A lot of folks probably remembers for a while the Harlan County Jail was right here in this spot. It was a high rise that was connected to courthouse. It wasn't built with a courthouse and I have to say it wasn't ever very popular with the folks around Harlan. Now is it like a park, park yeah. Lot? yeah because it's just ugly is what it was. You remember they moved that up on Highway 38 now and the courthouse to me looks a lot better. Don't you agree? parking lot with the new building there. Now that's a big difference. Yes it is. I think it looks a lot better, don't you? I do, yes. And of course this is the Justice Center. One of the buildings that was located by the Justice Center was that actually burned. Christmas Day 1999 was it? I think so, yeah. 98? Yep. One of them in there. Yeah. I actually have a video of one of the buildings here burning before the Justice Center was here. Wasn't the Kentucky Utilities behind there? In there yeah, somewhere? yeah, I think hey, you was in there somewhere. I certainly think you're right. I do remember yeah. in there. But this looks quite a bit different than it did. It was a... Uh, uh, Winscott Photography Studio, wasn't it in there? I mean, other and I think I think uh, wasn't Christ's Hands original location there before that burn? Soup kitchen. Soup kitchen. Yes. Yeah, they. Kind of, I'm not yes. sure it was actually Christ's Hands, I think but that's where yeah, the it was a soup is. kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm not sure it was actually the Christ Hands that's running now over on the other side of town, but there was a soup kitchen in there. And we recently lost this building over here to your yeah. left. Oh yeah, and the, the, uh, the 
apartment. Yeah, this cool. building here, and I, I, I also got video of that yeah. right there. So we'll show you this for a minute, and uh, we got some video of that. Both of those were lost with fire. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that's why that's vacant. So. Yeah. Folks, wasn't the old city hall with the Harlan uh, City Police Department in it somewhere right here before the farm and before the, all the changes? Interesting story about that is this picture. I found it in a book on Harlan County history that I got at the Harlan Goodwill. Now, it wasn't published in the book. It was a, it had been placed in the book between the pages by someone. And, you know, everything that book went through, I just wonder how it stayed there. This is the uh, Harlan City Police Force at some point in time. I'm not sure. When I don't recognize anyone here except Chief Vernon Harrod, who was police chief for an awful long time in the city of Harlem. Beyond that, I have ideal who uh, one guy might be, but I'm not sure. Uh, help us out. Hey, if you are one of these guys or uh, there's a lady there, please comment and tell us about it. Unusual way of finding a uh, historical picture. This is the Harlan Christian Church at the intersection of uh, First Street and Clover Street, East Clover Street. And believe it or not, this church, according to what a viewer tells us, is this church. Yes, I can tell. I can see yeah. the new section here and then well, the when back. When I first looked at it, I thought they was wrong and then I got to looking real good and if you notice you can see this section looks like it was built on and it covers where those columns was at and those front steps you see the bricks don't match exactly and you can see where that would cover it and back here looks like this little protruding section was uh, built onto to it yeah, I can see that so part. yeah it, it, it when you actually look at it those bricks are newer than yeah. those bricks yeah, it looks, you, you can see it. You, you can kind of tell it. So, yeah, I believe the viewer's right that that, uh, that is a Harlem Christian Let's church. Yeah. Can you believe how much of this little town has changed? Just take a look at this. Down here on the right was Creech Drug. And uh, did you say the Harlem Forest? I think, yeah. That's yeah. And up here on the left, something very important to me was the Margie Grand Theater. You can barely see a piece of the sign, I think that is, for it. Yes. In this building here. And folks, if anybody has a frontal picture of the Margie Grand when it was in business and showing movies, gosh, I'd like to have that. And if that. you look close, there were stop, uh, there were signal lights. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, there's lights down there. Yeah. Yeah, and this stuff. That's just, yeah, I can't yeah. remember no lights there yeah. i mean i can't can you can you remember the lights can oh you? yeah yeah do, do you guys remember when they would strain christmas decorations across oh, these streets yes, here people would drive if they if they lived on the outskirts of harlan across pine mountain or uh, up cave wood or cumberland or somewhere when they come to harlan do business around christmas they'd bring the kids with them even if they that. didn't usually do it and show them the yes, decorations right. and the lights yeah. yeah let's walk down here to where the creek start used to be yeah. All right, it's right there. And like I said, this building here was the old Margie Grand. Ain't it amazing how stuff changes? It is. And of course, up this way, I'm sure then it was, now it is the Harlan Public Library and the, uh, Harlan Independent School is up that way.
But down here was the courthouse, Creech Drug, the Margie Grand Theater, and all that history. Now, folks, the thing about this handbill, it's from around 1979, I believe, is the two new movies on it are Alien and Escape from Alcatraz with Clint Eastwood. The Exorcist and Giles are actually older. They was released before 79. But in those days, before VCRs, and before, which they had VCRs then, but everybody didn't have them. They certainly didn't have movies to rent on them. And uh, uh, DVD players and streaming services, is they'd re-release movies every few years. So people could see them again, they'd make more money off of them. Disney done that. Uh, people my age, I know remembers Disney done that with their movies movies for years but uh so Giles and Exorcist are re-releases but the two new movies are Escape from Alcatraz with Clint Eastwood and Alien did any of you guys see these movies in this theater I know we talked to a very nice lady who told us she had saw the Beatles help in this very theater when she was a young girl. Said she remembered that quite vividly. She was a big Beatles fan. We talked to her uh, just down here in front of the courthouse. A uh, very nice lady. Do you guys have any memories? I'd love to have a picture of the front of the old Margie Grand Theater from the old days because I can't find one. I barely got the one picture uh, with the uh, a piece and a side marquee in it and this old hand bill and the building is still here but uh, it houses other businesses like inked up and uh, down here uh, Pice Creech Drug was the uh, Hardland Hardware yep and, be Creech Drug right yep. here right uh, I believe that's yeah. where the sign was at. Yeah, but, but, uh, right in here. I yeah. think pretty much Let me ask you guys right. something. Is Harlan Hardware the one that had the funeral home above it on the upper floor? It had been right in here. Yeah. I, I, I believe. I yeah, seen. yeah. There was one. One of the hardwares in Harlan, I think. I've heard stories there was a funeral home above it on the upper floor. I can remember. Um, what was it called? Uh, well, I'm trying to think. I got a bad old memory. <laughs> she had a senior oh, moment on us, didn't it's she? Down there, it's like well, they used to be a dollar store down there. Uh, yeah, the yeah. That, it used to be, uh, yeah. Well, hey, I tell you what, I'll instead of going up it. this way, <laughs> let's go down and take a look at Main Street. And we're walking towards Main Street still yet. And that used to be the last incarnation of this uh, business was Jay's Sandwich Shop. But it was uh, it was something for that. Folks, tell us. I know it goes back maybe a couple of businesses. Business wife, yep. So what was it I was trying to remember? I was going that run that back by you. What was it called? I don't know. Now, that's your senior moment. I have enough of my own. <laughs> I thought you remembered. Uh, oh, down here, that'd be on Main Street. Yeah, yeah, you're talk, yeah, 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 you're talking about the uh, uh, J.J. Newberry's and T.G.N.Y. Yes. Down here on Main, and there was a Dollar General store too, yes, I believe. Yes, it was down yep. there. And this is an attorney's office now, but this used to be a drugstore with a lunch counter. And this used to be mirrored, didn't it? Yeah, it was It's style now. Top, it had four, around. yeah. It had four mirrors on it, one on each side. Yeah. You could take a look yep. to see yourself. Yeah. <laughs> now, was this Green Mill Drug Store? I may be wrong on that. Somebody right. tell me. But it was a drug store with a lunch counter. I know that. I do remember one like that. Like yeah. Well, there was, there was a Green Mill in Harlem. But I'm not. There was quite a few. <laughs> so, well, reason I think that was it. Reason I think that was it. It seems like. It, oh yeah, there were several drugstores, lunch counters back in the booming days of Harlem. Seems like, seems like I remember that green meal sticking up there. They actually had a meal that was, you know, a windmill that was lit up yeah. in green neon, okay. and it was real nice. It looked like the blades went around for a kid. 
you know, from the mountains. That's a big deal to come down and see that. <laughs> but now I'm not sure. That may be another one, but I know that is a drugstore. And this is the Creech Building, 1914. They're either tearing this down or they're doing an extensive remodel on it because uh, they, they've gutted it completely. Well, let's have to totally. Yeah. Now, Main Street here used to be uh, TG&Y, J.J. Newberry's, and after that they had a dollar store, didn't they? Mm -hmm. But yeah. right here, uh, let's talk about the Llewellyn Hotel, at least part of it. <laughs> uh, this has caused us a little source of confusion. We've had folks tell us that this was the Llewellyn Hotel and the building down next to the commissary was the Llewellyn Hotel. Well, turns out, from what we found out, yes. it's both of them. But this actually played the Pikeville Hotel in the movie Above Suspicion. Harlan played Pikeville in the movie Above yes. Suspicion. And I think the reason they painted those uh, boarded up windows, that pinkish color, which I salmon, I guess, which I could be wrong. But I think that's so they could have the computer because if you notice, there's nothing else close to that color around that. So they could have the computer and they doing the CGI, put window shades and lights and stuff in there to make it look like it was occupied hotel. Yes. There. Anyway, it's, it still says Pikeville Hotel on the window. Yes, it does. Yeah, because we have a, uh, Almost everybody in Harlan has a real big sense of humor, so we just left that on there to confuse the heck out of tourists. <laughs> <laughs> I told you that GPS wasn't working. We're in Pikeville. We're not in Harlan. But uh, at any rate, it says uh, J.K. Horton, 1922, right there. And you can see the holes in that concrete where it says J.K. Horton, where they had the Llewellyn Hotel sign. It's gone now, but you can see where they had it. And if you look, the molding on each side of the building, the window count, it all matches what you see in the picture there. Yes. So that was. But now, let's divert from Main Street for a minute and go through this alley and take a look at how this and the other one is both in the Llewellyn Hotel. This used to be a building here, but I don't think it burned. I think they tore it down, didn't they? Probably. But it's an alley now. Now the building we're coming up on is a uh, next to the commissary and it's the one that we've also had people identify to us as Lou Ellen Hotel. Uh, I think it's housed lately state offices, hasn't it? Yes. Yeah, state offices. And it had a makeover where they kind of done it to look like southwestern style, kind of at least to me, uh, uh, in the 80s I believe. But if you look at the picture of it, we're going to show you, it, it's the same. But now here is how come you have two Llewellyn hotels in Harlan. You don't. <laughs> you have one because they back up to each other and they're joined by this walkway. Is that neat? They just combined it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, at some point in time. Never knew that. Yeah, one of these was uh, obviously first, the Llewellyn Hotel first, and they've done business so good they've acquired the other wow. building. So that's why you and see they joined. this one, and then you don't yeah. see this one from the front. Yeah, and that's why you'll get so many people that was confusing us to death. You know, <laughs> well, that's the Llewellyn Hotel on Main Street, and so then somebody told us that's the one next to the commissary. It's just yeah, double. so they're both. Now let's walk down here and take a look at the front of the other one. So actually the Llewellyn Hotel had two fronts and no back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Now this one is actually a movie star, like I said. The other one I don't think was in a movie. Well, it's connected. You just didn't see the back of it. Unless you go to the front of it. <laughs> and this is the front, the other front of the Llewellyn Hotel, which is a separate building, but they're joined, as you see. Oh, wow. you now, see. yeah, you can see if you look at the windows and stuff and look past where they've remodeled it. And the, like I said, to me, it's kind of like a southwestern look they put on it. If, if you look past that, though, you can easily see. Yes, you can sure see that that is as the same as the picture. <laughs> you notice it can be so quiet 
and you turn the camera around and, and helicopters, weight eaters, jet fighters, hot rod cars. Yeah. It's, it's like the curse of YouTube. It is. I, I've heard other folks complain about that. It can be totally quiet then. Yeah. Something out of the blue is I've often said you could do a video on Death Valley and the minute you turn your camera around somebody start weeding. And so ends the mystery of why half the old timers in Harlan Atelier Lou Ellen Hotel was on Main Street and the other half Atelier Lou Ellen Hotel was on Cumberland Avenue. I never knew that. No, I didn't either. It was, in, it was actually in both. Everybody's right. Well, with whatever was standing here before, you wouldn't have knew that because yeah. it was in here blocking. Yeah, you'd had to walk all the way up the alley from uh, yes. the bank down there. And of course, this was a Paris and Horton building after it was a hotel, but before it was a movie actor that played the Pipeville Hotel. It still says Paris and Horton on the door over there, right next to the Pipeville Hotel on the window. Like I said, that's got to be just super confusing <laughs> if you're not from around here. There's a 606 game lounge. They have got some really comfortable chairs in there. The kind you see the vloggers sitting in, you know, that does the uh, face on vlogs. Oh, and we're walking down. Let's cross the street so we can get a good shot of it. We're walking down here to the old A&P building. At one time, a Dollar General store after the AMP building and now it's Cash Express. But it was the old AMP building. You don't remember this, do you? It was a wee bit before your time. Yeah. Tell the story. Oh let me show what you're talking about. She's locking on this these old uh, glass tiles, I believe they call them. Yes. Right here. Yeah. I see that one. She likes it. No, you don't. Like I said, the uh, Cash Express now, but the A&P building, and you've got a story. The, the parking lot that the A&P building is up here, which is the parking lot to the Civic Center now. But you've got a story about that, <laughs> don't you? Because this was a little bit before your time. I had no knowledge that anything about an A&P being in this building. So mom and dad tells me, They'll meet me over here at the AMP parking lot after a parade I was in. So, and you're thinking it's and a parking like, lot down where Food City is at. At that time, <laughs> there was an AMP, yeah. but it was down where the Food where City Foods is. is yeah. So that threw me a good one. Okay, does anybody <laughs> as old as me or older remember there's a couple of payphones here? And they had these two automatic door openers here that you stepped on them and the door opened. And... Uh, a lot of kids enjoyed stepping on those, maybe too much because they'd get in trouble with their parents. Not that I know anything about that. <laughs> and up here is a parking lot that confused the Dickens out of you. Right? Yes, this is the parking lot they park in. Yeah, a lot of folks, a lot of folks would, would you know, say, well, we'll park at the A&P parking lot long after the A&P was gone. I was like, Mom, I can't walk that far. Like, oh, what are you talking about? And then like, she started laughing. You pitiful thing. <laughs> she said, oh, honey, not down there. I'm up there with Ford Motors Company's at. Yeah, that's gone now. And now that's gone. So. And there used to be a, a city swimming pool down <laughs> at the end of the parking lot, I think. Oh, and speaking of the Ford Motor Building, we got a video, one of our most successful videos one of our most successful videos was of the uh, uh, Ford building as they took it down we actually chronicled them taking it down and if I was muffled for a minute while I was talking that's because my thumb was on the microphone <laughs> sorry <laughs> but take a look at this this, 
Yeah. Yeah. This goes back in time a pretty good fire piece. Take a look at this. And look at this view up Central Street. The portal on the left, which was the Harlan National Bank back in the day, right? Yes. Yeah, and the uh, uh, this flare shop here now, what was this? This is uh, coming up roses? Yes, but I don't know. On the right, on the right, folks, is I'm talking about on the right. Look back in time through here. This is the uh, Harlan Independent School. Actually, the whole Harlan Independent School system. This is the middle school here. And you walk on up the street, you got the high school. So the high school's in the middle? Yeah, and the middle school's on the end. I know that kind of confusing, isn't it? I think we're upsetting some dogs. Yeah. So no, they was upset the when we got here. Oh, yeah, I think somebody just went in there. And up there, way up there. So the middle is, is the high school. Yeah. Middle uh, school. See, this is the middle school here. School. But anyway, way up there is the elementary. You got middle school, high school, and then across the street in the oldest building is the elementary. And there's some uh, new updates on here. Yep. That was much needed. Yep. Established. Harlan High School established 1909. Wow. How's that? That's how's that? Some time ago. How's that? They used to say 1909. Oh, man. Yeah. And this is elementary school up here, which is the oldest building. So I'm thinking possibly this used to be. You know, maybe the high school up here. Maybe it was all of the school system because it's the oldest building. And we'll go up and show you their new walkway. Have we ever found out how old that old church is? That, that church, is that's the uh, uh, Episcopal Church in Harlan. And it, it is, it looks so European and so nice. Beautiful church. Look at the roof on it. Yep. It's 6.30. <laughs> one thing. Yep. Look you, at this new update. Get one on the high fair. Yep. Yeah. And I was told that they have a real bell in there. That's not a recording. That's not a speaker. All this is yeah. new. Yeah. All this is new. You got this walkway so the elementary kids can cross to the high school. I guess maybe possible for lunch or something. Maybe the oh, lunch room's in there. But it was needed. Anyway, yeah, they won't get rained on. And notice the crosswalks aren't just white, they're white and green. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> the green dragons. dragons. Yeah. Folks, who remembers the old bus station? The VTC station, the local bus station. Is my understanding it was right here on this corner. And you can kind of, if you look, recognize the top of that building in it still yet how's that for some change hey and more recently do you remember the giant muffler we do right here I kind of missed the giant muffler. And what about the old Greyhound bus station in Harlan? How many people left Harlan and came home to Harlan through that bus station? How many people that was the last time they seen Harlan when they left through that bus station, especially through the wars.
we've had. There's no buses around there anymore. Just old memories. And this is where you actually got on the bus. They still have the covering here, but there's nothing else here. They take you straight out of here and straight out of Harlan. Now, boy, things have changed now. Boy, you'll has it you'll changed notice right too. away there's no bridge here anymore. Nope. And behind us is a roundabout. And if you'll look in a picture here, you'll see that the roundabout would be right behind where the picture was took. A lot has changed. Yeah, just look at that. If I was coming back to Harlan to visit and had yeah. a note about this, my mind would be just so blown away. <laughs> a lot of change in here. And right here, yeah. Yeah, and this is the roundabout, yeah. Still safe. Get off of it, yeah. Yeah. But this is the shot right down here. But, but in the distance, you can still see Kentucky Mine Supply. Yeah. the sign up from all these years. Yeah. I mean, it's Fairview now and Everett's, right? Yeah. But there's no bridge and there's a roundabout and there's a liquor store. How's that for change? Now take a look at this. This is the way it looks. We're on the uh, railroad track side of the roundabout, which used to be the bridge in the Clover Fork River, now which is all gone. Uh, the side where Cash Saver is, which used to be Max, and high rises to your right. And this is the way it looks in 2023. Big but difference. <laughs> back in the day, I think the, the, this is from the early 70s, yeah. I believe is you've got immediately on the left Ackley's Hotel and Dining Room. And then down from that, on the right, uh, we was told by a, a, a friend that that was Paul Short's Auto Parts, Shorty's. And then down uh, uh, from that, I, I, I think on the left again, uh, uh, maybe across the bridge, was uh, Curtis Mathis Television and uh, Collins Furniture. And said across the street from Collins, he thought, there was Collins Clothing Store. Wow. And that was uh, just lots yeah. of businesses. Yeah, lots and you can tell by the traffic. It was very busy in Harlan. And uh, uh, one of the things, the Ackley Hotel, uh, we had a friend tell us he thought there was another hotel behind that one, but he could not recall the name and couldn't find anybody knew the name of it. So if that's true and there was, is any does anybody out there know the name of that hotel? The yeah. one, but the, the the one that was behind Ackley. Wasn't able to find any pictures. Yeah, no pictures, no information on it. Uh, just had, his word for it. So, yeah, so he, he would love to know, know the name of it hotel. if you if you can remember, hotel. Hotel. Yeah. So uh, but this is what it looks now. Quite a bit, quite a bit different. Big change. Yep. This is on up towards Cash Saver. Which, you know, anybody with any old pictures uh, uh, of Max here in Harlan, uh, the Kaz Walker store and at Browning Acres, be, um, uh, uh, any, and the Max down at Baxter at the Coal Monument, uh, we'd love to have those. There used to be a big building right here where we're standing. Yeah, Hack, uh, was it Hackney Wholesale? Yes, it was here. I believe, if not, there was two of them here. There may have been two of them here well, in Hackney. There's one of them. It's, there's yeah. nothing here now. Yeah, but there, there was a building here then. Yes. Where the pigeons are eating. <laughs> yeah, where the pigeons are eating. But this is was the main road, correct? Yeah, this into is Harlan as well. Yeah, like this is the main road through road Harlan and into Harlan. The if you was coming, uh, yeah, if you was coming like out of Pineville and you was going to Virginia through Harlan, you went through Harlan. This was That's the why road, there was so right? much traffic. So the trains don't run through here anymore, huh? No, they got the train track I blocked. See that. Which I wonder why they felt necessary to block the track. It's like, a, is a renegade train going <laughs> to flying up here? Or? Got more tracks in here. But, uh, yeah, this runs in Everett's up there by the depot. And this is the new depot. This is the replica of the old one. 
So this isn't the old one. It's no, this is yeah. the. It's like a replica of it. They do a lot of nice stuff in there. They have conventions and stuff. Yeah. It'd have been great if they could have saved the old one though. I yeah. like historical stuff like that. You know, the thing I noticed about this scene is look at the traffic that was in Harlan in those days. I'm telling you. Harlan was busy. That was amazing. That's kind of sad, uh, sad to look at that. Now, there was the Texaco station here on your left, and then over uh, in what was the Max parking lot, kind of, was the Shell station. It was two gas stations okay. was able to do business there for years. Prosper. That's how busy it was. Tell us about what you used to uh, talking. I can remember a telephone booth being there, and I remember that guy station when I was a little girl, and they would clean your windows, check your air in your tires, well, full service, you know, check your oil. Boy, you don't get that no more. <laughs> I remember that. Do you remember the telephone booth that was right yes, there? Yes, it, it was right there? next, to, it was right against one of those utility poles, well, I, I think. I to go there a few times. Almost in the street, calls. yeah. And then, you know, you'd stop here and get the gas. Yeah. But boy, it was a busy, busy time. Back that then. was before cell phones, and the reason people didn't carry phones with them then, in those days, is you couldn't get the phone booth in your pocket. You remember the guy's station, don't you? You're supposed to pretend oh, you laughed at that. But yes, I told you it was two. Right here was the Texaco station, and over there in the, uh, uh, what was the Max parking lot, was the uh, Shell station. And you still got the... And, and this was Creech. Creech. It, it's, uh, well, no, uh-uh. It was Robinette. Uh, Robinette. It's Creech now. Oh. But it was Robinette in those days. Yep. But the building's still Robinette there. Chevrolet. Yep. Wow. Things has changed. Boy, ain't it though? You got a lot of cars over here because this is an overflow of uh, some of the vehicles from their Preach. Yes. Yep. So, but a big change. Boy, Harlan sure has changed a lot. Hey, thank you folks for looking back in time with us and walking around with us. We appreciate you. What do we say at the end of these videos? Bye. Bye. We appreciate you folks.